Hello YouTube, Proxy here, and today I will be unboxing the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm going to be unboxing this thing as fast as possible because honestly, I'd rather be playing this game than doing an unboxing video right now. So first and most importantly, I have some Haribos to keep me munching away while I'm playing Zelda. So moving on to the Nintendo box itself, it looks pretty nice. It displays the Nintendo Switch on the front. On the side is some information in various languages. On the other side, more languages. And and on the back side of the box and the side of the box are various pictures of the Nintendo Switch in various positions. The box itself is extremely easy to open, I can do it pretty much one-handed. And once you open the box, you are presented with a really cool layout for the Switch. The Joy-Con pads feel very light, but at the same time they seem to be very well constructed. And here is the main Nintendo Switch console itself, boasting a lovely 720p screen, and it just looks pretty nice, and it feels also very light. Which is basically what you want with a portable console anyway. Delving further inside the box is the HDMI cable and the UK power adapter, as well as there is an adapter to turn the Joy-Cons into a more conventional gaming device. And finally we have the docking station for the Nintendo Switch which is pretty cleverly constructed as you can put the cables inside the back and it has various slots and the cables all feed out of one hole, which is pretty smart cable management. I'm actually quite surprised how small all this stuff is, I was expecting everything to be a lot bigger in size. And honestly it's quite nice as it is a portable device, not just a console. Also I was pleasantly surprised how the Joy-Con pad feels good once it's assembled. It isn't as bad as I thought it would be when I hold it in my hands, I thought it was going to be quite uncomfortable to hold it. But it turns out it actually is quite comfortable and very light, so that's a good thing. Overall, the Switch is quite an impressive little device just on the unboxing alone, so I can't wait to get my hands on Zelda and start playing. And as a bit of a bonus unboxing, I also picked up a capture card for cheap. This is probably one of the cheapest capture cards you can buy with a remote control. It's Chinese made, and you can tell by the quality of the plastic, it is pretty cheap, but it gets the job done and I'll hope to give it a bit of a review soon. I was going to be a bit more detailed and a bit more thorough with this unboxing, but I just want to play Zelda, so bye! And thanks for watching as always.